Uh, okay, which of the following statements about forced air? This is number 10. Uh, uh, forced air heating system is not true. Forced air heating systems can be augmented with humidification. Gas-fired forced air treating heating uh, excels at temperature modulation. Uh, air pressure is measured uh, typically, uh, weirdly written, sorry, uh, in inches of water. Uh, or D, forced air offers the lowest capacity of heat per unit volume. So first thing to say is absolutely air offers the lowest capacity uh, of heat per unit volume. Uh, this is sort of obvious once you start to think about it. I have great big ducts that move uh, conditioned air around, but I have little tiny pipes that move hot or cold water around, right? That's, that's what D is saying, right? It takes a lot of air. Uh, it doesn't hold the heat or the cool in the same way. I take a, it takes a lot more. So D is true, therefore it's not the correct answer. Uh, C, how about air pressure is measured uh, with inches of water. Yeah, it's another one of those uh, kind of archaic terms. Um, it's a way of discussing pressure. Uh, and it has to do with the, the pressure lifts water a certain number of inches in a set. So it doesn't really matter. Inches of water is how pressure is described in those situations. So C is also true. Therefore, it's not the correct answer. So it's between A and B. Uh, and uh, one of the things we can definitely say about the great thing about air-based systems as opposed to hydronic water-based systems is that it's really easy to just add a little bit of moisture if you want to add humidification. The other thing that's great about air-based systems is that I can the, the sheer fact of air conditioning removes water out when there's too much moisture in the air. So humidification is something I can definitely deal with very easily with uh, air-based systems, which leaves us with B, gas-fired forced air heating excels at temperature modulation. If you think about this, if you've lived with this at all, you know this isn't true, uh, so therefore it's the correct answer uh, because that heating system kicks on and it's really loud and then it kicks off. And then it kicks on again, and it's really loud, and then it kicks off. That's because it can't modulate. It's going either on or it's off. There are versions of air-based systems that can do this, but they're way more complicated specific systems. Today's ARE Live episode is an extension of our online ARE curriculum that you can find on blackspectacles.com, the home of online learning for architecture and design. If you need to prepare for the ARE, which I assume many of you guys do, and if you're looking for a good way to study for the exam that's more flexible and easier to digest than the traditional exam prep materials, then head over to blackspectacles.com to try out any of our free ARE video tutorials that are taught by tonight's presenter, Mike Newman. As an attendee, and as you can see here on the screen here, we have a couple of notes or information for today's episode. Any Anyone who is attending today's session, you're eligible to use this coupon code worth 15% off the first charge on your individual membership. If you're one of those folks who would like for your firm to purchase Black Spectacles access for you and your colleagues, just visit blackspectacles.com business, which is this fourth link here, and we'll send all the information for your firm to get set up. And also from now until the 15th of next month, firm memberships are 15% off if you mention this episode when you submit your form through blackspectacles.com business. Also on this, you'll see that our next webinar will be on May 27th with Mike at six o'clock. So if you'd like to register for it, here's the registration link. We're still firming up the details and the actual topic. So if you have any suggestions and would like Mike to cover a specific topic or would like us to interview someone in particular about a specific topic, please let us know. 